chairman of the PEC, Simon Sia, described the budget as only figures and having to receive more than half of the budget into the province remains a challenge. Mr. Sia explained that the unexpanded funds from past years' rollover funds are unavoidable for many reasons, which include late release of warrants and remittance advice from the Department of Treasury and Finance. He said this year 2024 will be a year of implementation, focusing on expanding the rollover funds on assigned projects carried forward from last year and again in the 2024 budget cycle to reduce rollover funds. SIA states that collaborative efforts is vital to achieve aspirations of the government. Enganofi MP Robert Atiafa was the first to respond on the budget, highlighted the importance of a five-year development plan that all district will have to have in alignment with the province and the national government. Sharing the same sentiment, Obura Wonenara MP John Boito and Goroka Open MP Ayatambua also called for discipline amongst the public servants in the administration to do their job effectively with accountability. The Eastern Islands provincial budget for 2024 is expected to be presented to the national government this week. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News.